hello friends welcome back to my channel again in this video today we are going to see how to do a packet capture in the Palo Alto firewall if you are watching my channel very first time please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, any new videos that I will post in the future it will get notified as a suggestion for you well um, we have experienced in different firewalls to do a packet capture but in case of uh, Palo Alto firewall the packet capture methodology little different and you might feel that as a um, totally a different procedure altogether why because um, packet capture is similar to TCP dump I would say um, TCP dump is what the packet capture would be so over here um, when you wanted to uh, perform a packet capture we have we usually set up a different uh, um variables or parameters right we we sometimes uh, capture based on the source ip destination ip or combination of uh, source ip and uh, destination port or uh, source ip destination ip and port number so the same set of uh, parameters or variables we will also do over here but in the sense the packet will be captured at uh, four different level so which is called the transmit receive and firewall uh, lastly uh, drop so that that's the set that uh, we have to set it up over here so let's quickly set up the uh, filter what we wanted to test it here so by default when you wanted to set up a uh, packed capture filter you, you can go up to four different uh, filters only so that's the maximum limit we can do at a time right so I'm not uh, setting up the in ingress interface so I have uh, a specific uh, scenario I have already uh, captured uh, I wanted to um, see the traffic from this source and for some reason and the access to uh, the public DNS is failing and that is the main reason I wanted to test this access or I can set up a filter like this so this is from the way the traffic originated from the 1080.123.28 IP address what if uh, the tra traffic comes written back from um, uh, the ADA data type so for that reason I have to set it up like this all right so I'm putting a filter okay 10 this is my filter I'm not using any source port to destination port uh, scenarios just putting uh, clicking OK and then uh, I'm, I have to set up the capture so first transmission sorry first to receive receive packet all right receive rx packet I want to see that too and then I have to um, see the transmit packet also S naming it as TX and then I want to see firewall processing traffic also FX lastly I also wanted to see what is the stage it, it is happening for drop packet also all right so this is the in four different stages so receive is nothing but it's a pre NAT stage when the traffic received by the firewall uh, to see how the firewall is acting to it transmit is a something but when the traffic is being transmitted 
across the firewall after crossing the firewall what how it is reacting to it firewall is the stage where it it is processing the existing connection or new connection it modifies the connection table right so that that is the stage firewall that call it as and then drop by the name itself we can uh, able to understand what happens to the packet whether it is successful or dropped if in case it is dropped for whatever reason uh, due to a security policy configured then uh, it will be captured over here all right so once you set up the filter and the stage you have to turn the turn on the filter and then turn on the packet capture also so so this is for the tra troubleshooting purpose right once you click ok the firewall will start to uh, capture the packet for the specified filter uh, and then after some period the packets will be stored over here on the right side panel so, so far we are not seeing any drop packet uh, all i can see except drop packet i can see the firewall is receiving transmitting and uh, processing the traffic so what we have to do now we have to stop the packet capture and i'm also going to stop uh, the um, filter one last refresh so once we download all these files so this will be uh, downloaded as a pcap file by default all right so what we can do we can save it all the files we should save it and what we have to do in the app of wireshark capture uh, wireshark uh, application we should merge the transmit and receive file first and then uh, we have to um, import uh, the firewall file as a next merger and then we have to see the overall packet flow so i do not have the wireshark application in my machine right now so once you download this you have to merge all these files then you, you can do the uh, uh, further level of uh, packet uh, analysis on the wireshark tool so this is how we have to do the packet capture on the uh, uh, parallel to firewall all right i think uh, this uh, video is uh, helpful for you if you have any further questions please uh, do not hesitate to put it on the comments and i'll see you on the next video thank you guys Oh,